Uh, let's effort. move over to interpretation. The first of Kieran Maher and Dave Eustace's runners uh, that we're going to talk about. Um, obviously, it's a, a horse that failed to finish last year, had wind issues in, in the Melbourne Cup. Um, had a pretty decent spell, but has only had freshen ups since then. So one of those interesting preps. I think Kieran Maher and, and Dave Eustace like to do that with their stays. But what are your thoughts on the horse, uh, Hawk? Look, uh, it was a tough win in the Bendigo Cup. Um, I took on the Bendigo Cup form last year, and we saw High Emotion come out and run third. Um, but really, look, he's, he did everything to throw that win away at Bendigo. Um, I, I just, for mine, he's, he's not a horse I particularly, uh, I, I could particularly have in there. Um, I'm happy to take him on. You've got to be wary of the stable. That's the only concern That's, there. Oh, <laughs> look, if he, was trained, if he was trained by Bob down at, at Coaton or somewhere, <laughs> you wouldn't be talking about him. No, but they've got such... He's, one of the yeah. lightest race horses in the cup as well, so yep. he's definitely got upside. I I can see him running okay. Um, I'm just scared to take Kiramar Dave Eustace on in any grand final. Yeah, fair enough. I think weight's a massive thing. I can't wait to talk a little bit about the, the Melbourne Cup weights. Uh, obviously, there's there's a few uh, top weights that, that are heavy, but pretty pretty even down the, uh, the bottom of the list. Chances are you're about to lose. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.